in relation to the throne angels. I now focus my attention on the bearers of the throne, otherwise known as Hamlat al-Arsh, a group of angels known in Islam. Their zoomorphic forms are the eagle, the bull, the lion, and the human. They are said to intercede with the creature which corresponds to their form. The descriptions in other hadiths give them six wings and four faces, which would relate to the four winds. The bearers of the throne are equivalent to the seraphim found in the Book of Revelation. The angels were said to have been created from different elements, one from light, one from fire, one from water, and one from mercury. They are described as titanic figures, so large that a journey to whisper in their ear would take 700 years. In these traditions, the angels have zoomorphic forms. The definition of zoomorphism is in fact the equal opposite of anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism usually involves the attribution of human characteristics and qualities to animals or deities, which would be the evolution of totemism, while zoomorphism does the reverse by giving animal qualities to humans. Remember, Zoo was cursed with bird form, and would be the definition of zoomorphism. Ur-Elim, the throne angels. The word Elim relates to a barrier. I must remind you that the seven were reformed and preserved under the medical guise. For example, Azu is a physician. If I were to say, Adept, Intercede, and Seraphilm, what would you be thinking of? Would you think of a spiritual adept who intercedes for man as a Seraphim? In fact, this would be an adhesion barrier used to protect the stomach after surgery. This would be the part of the stomach where hydrogenous attaches itself. It is known as the substrate, and hydra is found in alkaline waters, the drinking holes, lakes, and freshwater rivers. By definition, Hydra is the master of animals, and it is contained in the belly of the beast. But Hydra may be a balancing force, a creature designed to spawn new life in order to tend to the garden, possibly to fight back the new fauna. Otherwise, it is an excellent terraforming creature so the shoe could be on either foot. The living bread used by Moses and mentioned by Jesus is a form of algae which Hydra is using as a host. It is now symbiotic with this algae. Remember the life-giving waters for Zion. The spirit had not yet been added and this algae is called spirulina, because the spirit has been added. There is a huge twist coming to this series. Hydra may have been reformed in such a manner as to stop us drinking from the fountain of youth. Yes, Hydra, alkaline waters, is the fountain of youth.
like venom from Marvel, Hydra gives to the host regenerative abilities. It is motherless, self-producing, and a shapeshifter, as it can choose its own form. It is Hydra. This fairy-like creature is real. The adept who intercedes for mankind and is surrounded by seraphim. Remember, the bearers of the throne is said to intercede with the creature which corresponds to their form, zoomorphism. And the throne angels also relate to a barrier, possibly the substrate, which would be the throne of Hydra. Something isn't right here, is it? Please share, like, comment, and subscribe for more ancient mysteries.